outrage at DePaul University tonight after Chicago police tear down an encampment that supports Palestinians. Tonight, students, faculty, and supporters at DePaul are reacting. WGN's Joel Hillary has more from the Lincoln Park campus. On Thursday night, we will free hundreds of pro-Palestinian DePaul University students and supporters marched through the streets on and near campus, making their message loud and clear. It is no coincidence that the last full day of this encampment was on Nakba Day. Before the march, students united in front of the DePaul University Student Center. We are here, we have our demands, and we will continue to push until this administration actually gives us a response that isn't signed by just Rob Manuel, but actually done in consultation with all the stakeholders. After 17 days up, Chicago police, many wearing riot gear, tore the encampment down on DePaul's Lincoln Park Quad. Before demonstrators left Thursday morning, there were clashes between police and ralliers. The DePaul encampment was one of many on college campuses across the country set up to protest the war and demand universities to stop doing business with Israel or companies supporting the war. This violence will not break the will of these students, nor will it slow the progress of a solidarity movement that is breaking wide open across the country and around the world. In a written statement, University President Robert Manuel says the university received more than 1,000 registered complaints from deeply upset faculty, staff, students, parents, alumni, and neighbors, Manuel says, all requesting that the encampment end. The 303 students who live in University Hall have not been able to study or sleep due to the amplified noise coming from the quad. Some residents in the community, like Brian Comer and his Sheffield neighborhood organization, now feeling a sense of relief, saying safety was at the forefront of his mind. We were concerned that the longer it was here, the bigger the magnet it would become for something to happen. DePaul administration broke off negotiations with students over the weekend, in part because President Manuel says student leaders didn't have the ability to represent everyone participating in the protest. As a part of the divestment coalition, I refuse to abandon our legitimate demands, which include complete financial transparency, divestment from corporations that profit off the illegal Israeli occupation. That's Jewel Hillary reporting. In his letter, the university president wrote, the quad and all other green spaces on the Lincoln Park campus will be closed to everyone until further notice to begin making repairs to damaged property. Police arrested two people this morning.